So this thing has bothered me for a long, long time. Please tell me I'm not the only one. So when it comes to learning English, I have this obsession with learning everything. I want to learn all the vocabulary and I want to be perfect. But the thing is, I can't. There's literally endless things to learn. You open up Netflix and you saw a random episode of a TV show and there's so many nice expressions you feel like, okay, I can't say shit. And next thing you do, you get even more motivated. You wait, wait, try hard, even harder, thinking one day I'm gonna learn all of these nice expressions. I'm not gonna make any grammatical mistake. I'll speak perfect English. But you know what? I learned this lesson the hard way. There's no perfect English. Just think about when you are speaking Chinese, are you saying things in a perfect way? Is there anybody speak perfect Chinese? Have you ever had these moments like you want to articulate something and you firmly believe you have this thing totally figured out, everything in your hand is so organized, just so logic, and then you start to open your mouth. Like everything sounds so messy, articulating it in a completely different way you are not satisfied with and you are a native speaker. So even native speakers struggle with articulating. If anything, the closest thing to perfect English is speaking in an authentic way, aka finding your own voice. I came around to really late and eventually I was able to come to this realization because I make videos and I think it's very similar. When I just started out, I was trying to be perfect. I often felt like, you know, I have to script everything, I have to plan everything. When I started to speaking, it felt like I'm being stuck in another person's like invisible body and I'm acting like somebody that's not really me. I wanted to appear to be wise. I wanted people to like me. So I want to like speak quote unquote to perfect English, which I really can't, <laughs> which I really can't. Yeah. Then one day I was like, there's literally no original thoughts. There's literally no perfect way to describe or talk about anything, anything that you want to talk about online, any topic you could probably find to people already have videos about that. How are you going to contribute to this conversation? What kind of value can you bring to it? If you're just copying other people's voice, other people's opinions, you're not adding anything. The only way that you can add a little bit something to it is by describing things, or expressing your ideas in your own way, from your own perspective, so that it sounds like you. So when people listen to that, maybe they have some prior knowledge about it, maybe they have watched many videos on this topic, but somehow they resonate with your way of explaining it. It provokes people differently, make people think, and that's only possible when you speak authentically, when you choose to be you, not anybody else. This holds true to learning a foreign language, probably even more important because if you have this obsession of speaking perfect English, whenever you want to open your mouth to speak this foreign language, whatever you're learning, uh, you feel pressured, you want to sound perfect, you want to sound smart and wise, it's all ego. But you can't because there's always a better way to say it and you know that. So anxiety rears its hand every single time you open your mouth. And I think this is probably the worst thing that you can do to yourself when you are learning a second language. It adds this unnecessary stress to your learning and it's not very good for your mental. It, it makes you feel like you are inferior when you speak this second language because you don't feel like you. When you speak your native language, you know you're capable, you know you're you. You're not acting as anybody else. But when you open your mouth to speak this foreign language, you have to put this mask on and you try to sound like a person that's not really you. And that, that tremendous pressure really hinders your progress. That's the worst thing that you can do to yourself. Always searching for the perfect way to say it, but there's really no perfect way to say it. And to make matters even worse, it keeps your focus on language. Whenever you are you know, trying to take in information, watching maybe English videos, you're trying to learn the language, but you don't really pay enough attention to what people are actually saying, what's the message behind it. But the message is the core of communication, and that will be the thing you will be talking about with other people. You want to take something away from that so that you can use it to maybe illustrate a point or maybe to describe something happened during a day 
and you talk about these things, and that's why you use language. Language is the vehicle. It's only the media that we use to express our thoughts. But when your focus is only on language, you kind of forget. Oh, thoughts are actually more important. Like when students are taking IELTS examinations, the majority of them only care about okay, what language can I make myself sound like a seven or eight? This places this huge mental hurdle in front of you that you can't overcome. Every time you try to learn something, even though you learn it, you feel this pressure. This is something better than that. I might be able to say it in a different way. That's even better than what I just put it. You totally neglect the most important message that's carried by this language. That's more important. It's the thought that connects people. That's where conversation and interaction actually start. And sometimes people have this inner desire, like this burning desire to. To express themselves, to share their ideas, but because of this stupid idea of speaking perfect English, they shy away from these opportunities. Whenever they show up, they don't take it. They take a step back and think, okay, maybe until one day I can speak perfect English, I'll do it. But now, thank you, no. A couple of weeks ago, something really interesting happened. So I had a lesson with my IELTS student. A week before that, I asked them to collect English expressions they encountered during their daily life, but not just you know random expressions, but expressions that they actually. Feel a connection with, they actually resonate with, and when they come back for the next lesson, I ask them to select a couple of phrases to use that to, you know, trigger a thought, and then starting from there, talk about something that they want to talk about. Just you know, naturally flow from that. And the student just started to talking, and she was able to speak for like at least seven or eight minutes nonstop. And it was a story that only she'll be able to put it in that way. And it's really powerful. It's a beautiful, beautiful story. We've never like seen each other before because it's online. But I kind of feel like I actually know this person because she was being authentic. She was talking in her own voice. It's like it's all her, and that is powerful. And that moves the conversation forward. It makes you wanna to get to know. More about this person makes you want to ask more questions. And using fancy big vocabularies and complex sentence structures won't ever make me want to do that. I just feel like, okay, yeah, that person knows a lot of vocabulary, and that's it. I don't have any desire to engage in a conversation with these people. So the message here is the most important thing when it comes to learning a second language is finding your voice, and you really have to put down. The obsession about just speaking English perfectly because it causes you a lot of harm, and this mental hurdle you placed in front of yourself it almost destroys your whole learning process. Like you learn, like your learning will always be stressful, anxious. There's no fun in it. Because you are not being you in this learning process, all the all the things you talk about, you feel like you're copying other people's way of talking about it. All the things you say, you feel like you're just you know, trying to be another person, if that makes sense. I'm not saying you don't need to learn those you know authentic expressions. You don't have to be grammatically correct. That's all very important.、But、what I'm saying is you need to start from there and feel comfortable of.、Uh, Now learning everything and feel comfortable about only learning things that you are interested in that really resonate with you, really makes your heart beat, makes you feel something. And when you start talking about it, put your own idea into it, and mix it with other people's ideas, and combine all of these ideas together, and eventually what you say will sound like you. They are not hundred percent authentic. Way it's all built on something else. Hold on a sec. I actually put some notes there. You can't articulate it that way. Like writing and speaking is kind of different. You know what I'm saying? So I just want to read this to you guys. So I think people are getting it wrong when it comes to learning a foreign language. It's not really about being perfect or sounding smart or sounding not making any grammatical mistakes. It's not about that. It's really about choosing what to say, choosing your topic. And choosing what words to use, how to put them together, and say it in your way. This way, it comes off as natural and as exactly as who you are. This is very powerful. It has this magical power to automatically filter out some people that aren't 
your people. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like this video, some people don't like it and they just close the video. But because I'm being authentic, you also draw these fun people, like-minded people into my world. And it helps you to connect with these people. So just be authentic, I think. Don't obsess with speaking English. Obsess with being you. If you start from that to learn English, I think you have a much better chance to actually not just, you know, speak English fluently at the end, but actually get a chance to enjoy the process of learning this language. Yeah. Hope you enjoy this one. My name is Kevin. And like always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.